Hi guys and welcome to the probably most exciting video of the year in which I will share with you my most favorite perfumes that were launched by niche and indie brands in 2019. And I've already created a similar list of my top 15 faves from designer brands launched in 2019. And as I've mentioned in that video, this year was very successful in terms of new launches. A lot of brands surprised me with their perfumes and I bought so many fragrances, I literally went through madness and my collection really grew this year and let me know if you would be interested in seeing a video about my entire perfume collection, which I can expect being like an hour long and by the way I'm aware that my later videos are longer than usual and I want to apologize for that but that's that time of the year when I sum up all the faves and misses and do a lot of lists so I hope you don't mind just grab yourself a snack something delicious to eat and drink because I know this video is gonna be long because when I have a lot of perfumes I do chat a lot about them but when I have like the best launches of the year my most favorite perfumes oh my god you can imagine how excited I will be so this is gonna be a positive video about perfumes that were like amazing even though there are even more but I need to narrow them down and first I wanted to tell you about only 12 perfumes like one for each month that you should buy or try but then like there were three more perfumes that I just wanted to tell you about so I hope you don't mind there is gonna be something for everybody all the important information about these perfumes you'll find down below in the description box as always and don't forget to comment below your most favorite found or release of 2019 from niche or designer or indie brand whatever I'm excited to hear from you and now I should stop traveling and uh, talk about best of the best. Guys, I have no particular order going through these perfumes, but you should definitely stay till the end because the last five perfumes are definitely my new signature scents. But I'm starting with Rules of Attraction by Sarah Baker Perfumes, which was created by Miguel Matos as sort of an homage to... Oh, vintage and uh, animalic perfumery. It's surely a dirty floral, it has a white floral heart and in the opening there are clean aldehydes in there with cumin. So in the base we have animalics and in the heart we have lots of flowers and the result is very attractive. Like this perfume definitely does what it promises to do, it attracts people, it's dirty floral, it's quite vintagey and Miguel definitely creates most exciting vintage smelling but perfumes with modern spins so I would definitely recommend you to check this one out if you enjoy aldehydes and animalics and flowers in your perfumes you want it to be super long lasting and very attractive unisex and if you're looking for a special type of occasion perfume. I really recommend you this one and Sarah Baker had actually a lot of exciting launches this year but in my opinion her most uh, exciting collaboration was with the house of Versace and the minute I heard that she's collaborating with Donatella Versace who is just an icon I was just like not only jealous but so happy for her and like like Sarah you're so lucky and I was excited for the book that they were working on I was just like so teased by all the pictures that she posted on her social media and a few days ago I received this. You guys, can you imagine? Like this is Baroness book that Sarah Baker created with Donatella Versace and just look at it. Oh my goodness, like can you see it? I'm so excited to read it. All the images are so interesting and just beautiful but I want to show you particular picture of these ladies being all so fancy like oh my god I love it and congratulations Sarah you rock the world we are moving on to the next perfume because we have 14 more to go and uh, this one is Love Mimosa by Amouache that I was very excited about because you might know that I enjoy Mimosa. I even picked it as a main star in my collaboration with SP Parfums Powder and Dust which won the most prestigious niche award as the best artistic perfume and the reason why I wanted to work with Mimosa that is a very special perfume ingredient. It's powerful and it is powdery and Yana loves powdery scents. 
but I didn't want to work with iris even though I love it but I think there are so many iris perfumes and I just wanted to do something new as always and Mimosa back then like last year when we created powder and dust wasn't that popular but this year I noticed quite a few niche and indie brands released perfumes with Mimosa as the starry note in them and I was excited for this one because I love Amouage's uh, Secret Garden line and this color was beautiful and the scent is so unique I was definitely very pleased by it because even though it is floral and very sunny and that's how Mimosa smells, it's also quite fresh and aquatic because there is an oceanic accord in there. It's also super powdery because for this perfume was used uh, Predison which is a new molecule for that uh, powdery scent and also quite sweet and fruity. So you are definitely feeling that uh, ocean breeze and intoxicating ylang ylang scent in the air when you wear it. It's very fresh, it's one of the most strongest perfumes and definitely one of my most favorite picks of the year. Actually, I wanted to include only full bottles in this video just because like if these are the best perfumes, I should have invested into them or like sent full bottle, you know, but I have two exceptions on today's video because like those perfumes are from my favorite indie houses and one of them is Clouds and I have a travel spray of it which I bought for my mom. I'll tell you the story. But first of all, let me tell you something about this perfume. Because this is a collaboration between Christy from the Facebook group Oh My Soul and Sarah McCartney from 4,160 Tuesdays. And they've already collaborated on Oh My Soul, which is definitely my number one perfume from this house, even though I have so many fears and I was a bit crazy purchasing so many this year. But I find this is one of the best indie brands. Their perfumes are so fairly priced. They offer some discounts you can get samples trail sprays 30 50 100 ml bottles and also refills so their concept is fantastic amazing creativity always so unique but even though their perfumes are fairly priced this one it's also fairly priced but it is so expensive for this house and even sarah told them on her social media this is the most expensive perfume she has ever made because of high quality ingredients in here and basically it's a contrast of both happy and uh, sad notes and this perfume was inspired by both sides now by uh, Johnny Mitchell that's um, a beautiful song and uh, in here we have kind of like elements that are both gloomy and sunny and it's just like sun picking through the clouds and uh, that's just a very hopeful message that Christy and Sarah are telling through this perfume. So also the ingredients were used for this perfume that are citrusy, bright, floral, uh, fun, and then there is orris root for the depth and hay and um, some sandalwood. So uh, the result is fantastic, like it's fabulous. And uh, I have a trial spray for my mom because here is a story. When I fall in love with one brand and I like want everything for myself. I also want perfumes from this brand for my loved ones so I can enjoy them on them. Do you know what I mean? I hope you can follow me. So when I smelled clouds, I just knew it's gonna be perfect for my mom. I know which perfumes she enjoy and she is a fan of Guerlain, which is my number one designer brand and clouds smells very similar of Guerlain's earlier offerings just because it is powdery and powdery is the signature style of girl on perfumes but it's so like it's incredible you should definitely all check it out and sarah had an amazing deal on her hot pink friday not black friday and uh, i got this perfume and i'm just so happy and i hope my mom is going to be happy finding it underneath the christmas tree perfume Best rose found of the year was definitely Darby Rose by Chanticle for me and I want you to look at this box, okay? Just look at this design, look at the birds, look at the flowers, look at the colors, everything is so beautiful. But if you think it can't get better, oh yes it can, because look at this bottle, ta-da! I mean it's so, so, so pretty and actually royal and this cap like everything is perfect about this fragrance which is definitely a very um, rosy one it's about the rose that is fresh it reminds me of the first rose that blooms in your garden and uh, it's a sign of spring and you're very careful with it because it is fragile it's fresh with citrusy and light berry undertone 
and I need to tell you that this is an elegant rose that is special enough but also casual enough and uh, I love different uh, kinds of roses they can be sweet and deep and oriental or they can be modern light and uh, transparent and this one is definitely on the second side and I really love how luminous it smells on my skin it is all about the texture in this perfume and I think if you love rose or just very beautiful perfumes you should check it out because like it's it's made for the rose lovers so I was telling you I have two exceptions and the second exception is Lejade by DSH Perfumes. This is the sample. Dawn really released fantastic, fantastic perfumes this year. Like, she's one of my most favorite perfumers out there. And Lejade is about pine, it is about woods, it is about moss, it is about forest. And I've always um, kind of like... Um, shied away from those type of scents just because like I've never loved them like never ever and Dawn what I love about her she can make me fall in love with that genre that I was always like not the biggest fan of and I never paid attention to to it like she creates perfume and like I want more I crave more and I ordered a bigger bottle of it but I just really want to tell you what appealed to me about this perfume so a few days ago we got our Christmas tree and the scent of Christmas tree, I can imagine that you all agree that it's just like all the memories, all the expectations, like Christmas is coming, it smells so delicious of pine, fantastic experience. And when I smelled it, I was like, oh my god, I want a perfume like that, but I don't have perfumes like that, <gasps> I have Lejot. And when I sprayed it, oh my god, that was the moment when I fell in love with it and ordered a bagel bottle. So it, it is about emerald um, piney forest. It is quite mossy, it's quite wet. Oh my god, it just smells so good. I want to drink it. But there are also flowers that are sort of fresh and I just don't know how Dawn does all that magic that she does, but she does it really well. Okay guys, next perfume, like so pretty, the prettiest one of all, and that is Ballerina Number no. 5 by Le Parfums Jorazine which is from their ballerina line that consists out of five perfumes and this is the fifth anniversary one which they put into this fantastic, uh, very, very eye-catching flacon. I loved that they went for golden color. It's matte, this organza tutu is just like, ah, 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 so girly, so, so beautiful. And I loved how they worked with the design and actually the scent inside the bottle, which smells of juicy flowers. It's quite powdery too. Rose in there is one of the most um, noticeable notes, as well as orange blossom. And rose is the signature element of Le Parfum Rosine. And then the base, it's sweetly woody and resinous. And the scent itself is so mass appealing, but then the bottle is just like one of a kind. I don't think there is any bottle like it out there. And that combination of uh, quite mass appealing scent and the prettiest bottle ever makes this perfume like a perfect gift or a perfect blind buy. So yeah, if you are looking for a perfume that you could rock on the daily basis and would love to hold it in your hand, go for ballerina perfume but the previous four are also real good just wanted to tell you that okay so the next perfume was long awaited by me so it's uh, a violet perfume it's called Bint al Faransi by Abdul Karim al Faransi whose work I really enjoy because he manages to combine both oriental middle eastern perfumery and classic french perfumery in his work and uh, this year, as some of you might know, I've been going through this uh, violet obsession, as uh, I call it, and um, I discovered a few interesting Gucci violet perfumes from their exclusive line, and they were so pretty, and the scents were amazing, but they didn't last on me, and one of them was like in perfume oil form, and I immediately thought of Abdul Karim al Faransi. I messaged him, I asked him, can he create a violet perfume? And he responds with yes. And I was just like, oh, I was so excited. But uh, like weeks um, flew by and like there were no news and I forgot about it. And then he sent me this perfume and I was just like, oh my God, like all my dreams are coming true in terms of perfumes. And I'm just so happy. This is pure perfume. It's Bint al Faransi, which means daughter of al Faransi, and it is about violet. And when you smell it, like right from the bottle, you're like, oh, 
this is violet but this is such a special violet i'm telling you this is definitely the violet perfume that will surprise you it's not your boring typical clean and fresh Oh, violet. It's a violet that uh, on the one side is sweet and very musky, but on the other side it's quite woody, woody and mossy. So, like, it's quite contrasting. It's, oh, it's like culmination of a violet note. And uh, I love how long-lasting it is, but at the same time how not overwhelming it is. So, yeah, that's definitely one of the most exciting launches of the year for me. Like, I love how clean it is and then how deep and dark and dirty it is. Like, very very polarizing violet and once again long-lasting beautiful gorgeous affordable so seems like a real must try right okay so here's a real beast here and that is Dorophilia by Miguel Matos this time from his indie line and uh, this perfume should um, evoke a sexual erotic feel like when you touch animal fur and leather and skin and that's very like in Miguel style and he loves animalic notes and I do love them too but I've never been a fan of leather so when I saw like a very leathery perfume in Miguel's collection I was just like okay you know what I want to try it maybe it will work out for me because like in a lot of times I find leather just doesn't work it's too warm it's too heavy it's too blah you know it's just like challenging and this one is definitely challenging because it's like a right in your face it's so strong it is about definitely vintage style if you love full-on vintage perfumes with all the aldehydes with all the opulent flowers if you want it to be a real beast and you want it to set free check out dorophilia it's like real extreme animalic leather that for some strange reason is my favorite leather and i find even though it's so like woo, beast mode it's very wearable definitely sexy because i love sexy animalic perfumes if you don't i don't think there's gonna be something for you so i received something very exciting a few days ago and that is perfume from a completely natural house, Le Parfums du Monde, that was founded by Terry Bernard, who is an amazing guy, he has an amazing wife. We were invited to Strasbourg for a very exclusive launch of the perfume that he created for European society, whatever. Like, And my boyfriend really, really loves his spicy signature, as we call it. And Terry just recently released a new perfume. And are you ready? But this, I'm not sure, because just look at it. Like, this perfume will take you to the jungles. Do -do 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 -do. You know that song? Well, this is how it smells to me. It smells of jungles, and it is called Ujjan. So, it's a natural perfume, and it is about gorillas that are jumping in the jungles, uh, enjoying their life, and crushing everything. The leaves, the woods, the fruits the flowers, just like everything, and it just smells of smashed jungles. And you can have a look at the pyramid, which starts with citruses, then we have a floral heart, then cherries signature spiciness, and then kind of sweet, but also earthy uh, myrrh, exactly, myrrh is quite there, vetiver is there, but at the same time that greenery, that fruitiness, my boyfriend told me it's mango or maracuya or I thought it's guava, it's just like green and fruity and it literally will take you to the forest. And even though it's a foresty perfume, it's uh, an exotic foresty type of a scent with interesting spiciness, it's completely natural and it's quite long-lasting as all cherry perfumes, so I just needed to include it on this list. Okay, so here is one of my most favorite perfume fonts of the year and one of my best perfumes in my collection, which is Civet Cat Shipper by the tiny indie brand Melash Parfums from Canada. And here is the deal, you guys. If you want an aphrodisiac in a bottle, and we all know that animalic notes work like aphrodisiacs, they attract an opposite sex and stuff like that, and they just make you feel very sexy in your own skin, but you don't want to go for a full-on animalic perfume right in your face, you don't want to be a walking cat pee or a horse poo, you know, you want a sophisticated animalic perfume. 
this is what you need in your life because this is a real shipper that opens with a bergamot splash and I love bergamot I love how tasty it is I love how green it is I love how mouth-watering it is and this is a very sophisticated animalic perfume that just attracts and alerts and teases and makes you feel very very good I, I love that it's on the juicy side I like that it is not too dark I like that it is not too challenging it's actually very addictive and I highly recommend you guys to check this one out like literally if you want an aphrodisiac in a bottle and you want it just to be like my happy fragrance that works every time that's the one at least for me so I've promised you to tell you about my top five new signature scents and here is the first one. It's from one of my favorite niche brands by Rido and they have amazing offerings and there are some misses in their line and when I saw the release of Slow Dance I was very excited for it because I loved each and single note in that composition and when I tried slow dance in the store i fell in love with it and purchased it right away and that was a very smart decision because i still love it and find that this is one of the most unique and interesting perfumes out there and it is definitely a gem of my collection so i think what's special about it is that it might smell different to everybody and uh, we have uh, a review with my boyfriend that we created on it and you can check it out to see both perspectives but to me personally and on me it smells like sweet alcohol and I love boozy scents and in here we have vanilla we have a poponax with cognac so it's warming but it is also about patchouli the chocolatey patchouli patchouli in here is one of the most prominent notes so it just depends on how you feel about that note there is also a touch of violet hint of geranium and labdanum for that voluptuous feel and slow dance it's just like a very high night out for me personally and i love how comforting it is like this is definitely my boozy signature scent that makes me high and i love that feeling because i don't drink smoke or use any drugs but my drugs are perfumes and slow dance is that type of drug that is not too heavy you won't feel yourself real bad the next day but it's just like good enough you guys, this next perfume, I remember the first time I tried it. It is from Zoologist and um, when it wasn't released yet and Victor showed me the mode of it, I, we were at the uh, Exong's huge exhibition, like the biggest one. There are so many perfumes there and he shows me this perfume and my eyes become bigger, bigger and bigger and I just told Victor I need this perfume in my life and that is, what do you think that is? Well, that is Do Do and to me, this perfume, like the first time I smelled it, it reminded me of my beloved Kinzo perfume that I used to wear in the sixth grade and don't ask me what that was because I can't find it anymore but this perfume is very strange. Now it doesn't necessarily smell to me like that only from the bottle but to me, like, this is animalic perfume. It's about cat musk, as I call it, which my boyfriends enjoy. It smells clean and animalic, and somehow that musky molecule reminds me of cats. I don't know why. Don't, don't even try to understand me. But then we have citruses in here, and then we have a strange note of fern, and then we have even stranger notes in this composition, which are berries and lychee, and then flowers, rose and geranium. But those are supporting notes. Those are not main players. In here we have sort of like a balsam fir, so it's like um, some balsamic but also like piney note and lots of musk, lots of moss and uh, lots of ambergris. That's why it's oh, very sexy to me. Like in, in my perspective it's a very sexy animalic perfume but, uh, but on like wet side. That's why I love to wear, wear, it, blah, blah, wear it when it's rainy and it's just like yeah it's my new dirty animalic signature scent and i find it's interesting that it's like green animalic i haven't smelled a lot of piney green and obviously animalic perfumes so that makes it unique for me and that's why it is in my top five best releases of the year so things are getting really really hot right now and this next perfume is definitely like my number one like signature scent because it's like me in a bottle like literally my identity is in this juice and that is the newest El Jaramain's Junon Rose and you guys like oh my god this stuff is 
powdery and it is also sweet like when I apply it and get in my car and need to drive somewhere and it's curvy oh my god it can be sickening but let it sit let it develop and you'll be dived into sweet amaretto into powder into ylang ylang oh my god like come on like come on get yourself a bottle please yourself please your olfactive senses I love this perfume. It's it's about true charm. Like this perfume is charming. It's uh, absolutely bewitching. It's very strong, and uh, there are not many perfumes that I wear as often as this one. It's definitely my oriental floral sweet signature scent, and like I mean, you need you need to try it if you love powdery. So here are like top two perfumes. Like all of these are top favorites, and you should try them all. But like. This particular fragrance, next one, is from newly launched indie brand, I believe from Serbia, if I'm not wrong. And when new brands pop up like that and just like a little bit like, mm, I need to try them out. But notes were uh, very interesting in this line, so I was sent samples and like that was one of the best uh, brands I've ever discovered in my life and this particular fragrance is like a miracle that was sent to humans from heaven. And I know, I know that is a lot to claim, but that's exactly how I feel about Bali Fleur by Balint Parfums. You guys, Xava Balint, the nose and the owner of this brand, created an exotic miracle that smells of gardenia and champaka. If you love gardenia or champaka or fruity, powdery perfumes, you want them to be fresh and clean, but at the same time sweet and floral and very, very luscious, you need this fragrance in your life. I love how it makes me feel, I love to wear it in the morning, it's my new clean signature. I know that description might sound strange, but it's literally the miracle from heaven and it's strong and it's very beautiful and I think if uh, she... Um, sold the formula to some very famous designer brand that would be a major hit that would come into history as a legendary perfume. So guys, we made it almost till the end and here is the most surprising, the most impressive and the most like wow perfume of 2019 for me. And um, when I learned about uh, its launch, I wasn't that excited, even though it was from one of my favorite indie brands, Libertine Fragrance, with uh, fragrances of uh, whom I am familiar with and I like a lot of them. But, like this perfume sounded nothing like I would like because Yana doesn't like spicy perfumes and that should be spicy. Yana finds them overwhelming and challenging and just annoying and when she received Gilded, it took her by surprise, it wowed her, it amazed her and now this is definitely the best launch of the year from an indie brand to me personally, which is about Immortal, and that is a spicy plant. It is about brown sugar, it is about incense and woods and green cardamom, which is one of the main players in there. But this perfume was way too abstract to describe it by the notes, and it just smells of expensive boutique, of expensive house, of expensive life that we all dream about. That's why if you wanna smell expensive, Gilded is what you need in your life. I have a full review on it if you want more information, but this, this particular perfume should be tried by everybody who is watching this video because I swear by this particular one. I mean, like, I have never been a fan of spicy perfumes and this is not necessarily spicy. It's spicy, but it's not like other perfumes, spicy, especially spicy, and it's just gorgeous. It's like uh, the dream that you're dreaming about and that comes true, and that's like the most exciting feeling ever, right? So, you guys, that completed this video, which I hope was entertaining enough and you made it till the end, and if so, thank you so much for sticking till the end. I really appreciate your time and I hope you learn about fantastic perfumes that I want you guys to try, order samples, go for them, they are worth the splurge, and I would like to know which of these you are excited to try now. Please comment that down below because I love to hear from you and your comments really help to push my channel and uh, the engagement is like just so so appreciated by me and I would like to know how did you find 2019? Was it successful for you? Was it a nice year? For me that was definitely one of the best years in my life. A lot of great things happened and I will tell you more in my live stream that is gonna 
be on Friday, so set up your notifications. And don't forget to follow me on my social media where I announce my live streams and other interesting posts about perfumes and my private life. So follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Yana Tamalis, and I would be excited to chat with you over there and of course in the comments. And if you enjoyed watching this video and I helped you to find and discover new exciting launches, I hope there was something for everybody on this top 15 best perfume launches of niche and indie brands of 2019. Oh god, I'm like so exhausted of saying that. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and of course, stay tuned, smell good, and we'll see each other in the next one really soon. Bye, guys!